Hey guys, it's makeup tutorial time again. Okay. Hey, hot Miss Pam. Oh my god. Yes! Hey guys, thanks for stopping by for another round of My Two Cents where I take a product or a specific item, either it be makeup, household items, or anything else I find interesting, and then I give you my two cents about it. Today I promised you guys I was going to talk to you about the Airbrush Legs by Sally Hansen. I actually use this on my face and not my legs. I have a weird thing about trying to put makeup on my legs. Unless I had really bad like varicose veins or something that I needed to hide, I probably would use this. And it's nice that they have this kind of product out um, but I was having a hard time for the last few years about my foundation and I was trying anything and everything and in my desperation I went ahead and grabbed this I have a video already about airbrush legs in this aerosol can and if you haven't tried or check that out why don't you go ahead to that video I will try to make sure to get the link down below for you but right now we're talking about the the gel stuff. I believe I do have a video that will show you after I am done um, chatting with you about this that shows you how I put it on. Now with this one, just like I, just like with the other one, it was a little too dark. I did get this in the lightest color. Of course, these are only light, medium, and dark. Um, these aren't meant for foundation, so the color range is very limited. Uh, even the even the light color is too dark for me. I would definitely use this during the summertime when I do have color. Um, I'm not wearing it today, but uh, I was having a hard time with this when I bought it. And I think I used it once or twice. <clears throat> and the only reason I actually did buy this is because it was on sale. It was like a $10.99 or $13.99 or something like that. It was a, a it was a pretty spendy spendy pro, uh, product, and then I had got it for like four bucks. So I probably wouldn't have went and got this on its own, but because of my situation with the foundations and it was inexpensive, and I had liked the aerosol, I figured you know what, let's try this in the lotion form. And basically, you know what, it, it's got the consistency of a liquid foundation. Um, everything about it's liquid foundation. The only thing is, is if you do use this, this does not have any kind of SPF or any kind of protectant whatsoever. It is meant for your legs for a cosmetic reason, not for your face. So if you do use this, make sure you take precautions and use uh, the lotions and moisturizers that you may need to protect your face. Uh, with that being said, um, I'm not loving this. I'm not loving it. Um, it was a little bit slippery. The color obviously was wrong, so this will only be a summertime thing when I'm actually really, really dark. Um, even though it is light, I would not suggest this, suggest this for your foundation. Um, but since I do have it in my collection, I will keep hold of it and uh, use it when I deem necessary. It does give you a very light um, uh, application. You can build it up, which is nice. But all in all, I would stick with just using this on my legs if you absolutely needed to. Um, it felt a little sticky. It felt a little slippery. Um, I don't even know how somebody could use it on their legs, but they do. That's what it's made for. Um, and yeah, that's about it. I'll show you the video that I have so you can see what it looks like. It is obviously not my color, so it will look a little off, but it will show you what it looks like when I put it on. Just know that sometimes certain certain products may be meant for a certain part of your body, but that does not mean that you have to use only use it for that part of the body. That just goes to show that people will um, spend tens and hundreds of dollars for a gorgeous moisturizer for your face because it has a face moisturizer and it's supposed to be all glorious and blah 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 when in reality I'm 41 years old and I have only used most of the time 98% of the time of my life have only used lotion any lotion will do when it has to do with your face as long as you're moisturizing it now 
as I'm getting older, I would like to start using products that would help with fine lines and wrinkles. But I must say that just because it says face moisturizer, don't think that you only have to have one particular kind of product. I hope I'm trying to, I hope you're picking up what I'm putting down. Basically, just because this says for legs doesn't mean that you can't use it for your face. You just got to be smart about it. You've got to be smart and know that, okay, this may be for legs. So this is not going to have SPF in it. So I need to figure out what I need to do. So you're going to put an SPF lotion or moisturizer underneath this. So that way you're protected or don't assume that you're going to be protected when you go out. Any other products, we can use eyeshadows as blushes and vice versa. You can use eye makeup to also remove your face makeup. There are tons of things that you can use that aren't particularly ma made for something else. Anyway, rant's over. Yes, I put this on my face. It's for legs. It's not the best. What did you expect? Um, and yeah, <laughs> this is what it looked like. Just like just like a big ass tube of foundation and I will stick the little mini uh, video I have of me putting it on hope that helped you out guys talk to you soon